Let's talk about this new project called Optimus. It's guaranteeing you a 1% daily interest on your capital. We're gonna take a look at everything. I've done a lot of research on this. I just wanna spit out facts for you guys. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. Optimus is a project that is paying a daily interest rate of 1% on whatever money you're putting in there. There is no lockup period and there's also no taxes. So it's fairly easy to come in and out of this project. Now, as we can see from their D app here, they are generating revenue and the way they're generating revenue is actually through trading bots. And as we can see now, this project has been ongoing for about two two weeks now or 16 days and they have been able to make 826 thousand dollars from three trading bots now we don't actually know what the trading bots are trading other than one of them is actually trading their own token which is opt2 and raptmatic so we have a trading bot that is trading that and generating some profits and we also know that they also have two other bots trading different matic pairs but we just don't know what those bots are trading now i've listened to the ama and they basically don't want to give out those pairs i mean fair enough if they do maybe people are going to try and front run some transactions that's all okay with me but what i am interested in and what was also brought up in that ama is that people are curious to see the transaction not necessarily the strategy and how they are making those trades but more actually seeing the amount of money that is pro profited from these bots and the money that may be lost so something else along the same lines of these bots they actually confirm that they only go long on bots so of course we know that the market is super volatile and as we can see optimus has been holding up quite well even though we are in a bear market right now so it is only going long and what that means is that they have specifically said that if a day is actually a negative day in terms of the price of raptmatic well, what happens with that bot is that they are actually accumulating or essentially putting more money into that specific trade so that when the price recovers, they can sell and they call those distribution days. So in a very quick resume of all of that, they're basically dollar cost averaging and using those bots in order to do so. Now, I would be interested in seeing, let's say, Matic plummets down to 40 cents as it has in the past if we just go and take a look at the price of matic i mean we've seen it go down to like 40 cents in the peak bear market or when it crashes so i'm not too sure if they would be dollar cost averaging all the way down until it hits that and then in the hopes that it goes back up again we're not too sure what the strategy is there but they are not using bots to short they are basically dollar cost averaging and hoping for the market to recover, which in my opinion, if you're a long-term investor in crypto, that is a perfect strategy. But again, it is it enough to sustain the 1% on a daily basis? Let's say it keeps on going down for three months. Is the project gonna be able to sustain itself? We are not too sure. So now what I wanna go through is the white paper. I just want to share with you guys some of the key elements of this white paper and essentially how Optimus works. This is very important in my opinion. So if we zoom in on this, this is how Optimus works. So again, they say it's a long-term passive income play. So maybe not the best route if you're a quick flipper because you are only getting 1% per day. It's not going to go up like crazy. We're going to get into the whys just in a second here. But this is basically because Optimus is earning a 0.3% fee on a quick swap because they're providing liquidity there. There is a transaction fee on quick swap every time there is a trade made so some of those swap fees are automatically deposited in the pool and they are also compounded over time which is obviously going to increase their liquidity now all of these bonds that are generating them revenue are actually adding to the liquidity so if there is profits made by these bots you're going to be able to see that the liquidity is going to go up so right now they have a liquidity of about 2.0 million and something else i haven't mentioned yet 
here we can have a price in us dollars but this is also affected when the price of matic goes down so obviously that is going to fluctuate but what you can look at is the price of one opt2 token versus matic and this is basically what they are emphasizing here because they are paired with matic look at this versus the price of the us dollar because of course matic versus usd is going to fluctuate now, going back to this white paper, so now we understand that they are trying to build up this liquidity and why you may ask, this is because they are paying this 1% on a daily rate. So if they have a higher liquidity and we have people taking profits, it's not going to have as big of an impact as if we had a very small liquidity, because if they did, well, then obviously the sales would go a lot further in terms of volatility rather than if we have millions and millions in liquidity. So that's the purpose of building up that liquidity. And now they do say that they are also going to be a deflationary token. And now you may be asking yourself, well, Eric, how in the world does that even work? They are paying out 1% on a daily basis. So their token supply is actually inflating, but they do plan on burning 1% of the liquidity on a daily basis. So as you can remember, they are actually trying to build up this liquidity. Yes, they are paying out 1% on a daily basis to their holders, but they are also burning 1% of their tokens that are held in liquidity. So at one given point, the liquidity is going to be greater or hopes to be greater than what is actually paid out every single day by that 1%. And if we take a look at these transactions, we can actually see that this is happening manually. It's a manual rebase right now. They are working on putting it through a smart contract to make this automatic. But we can see that over the last few days, this is the burn wallet. It's sending it right into this null address. And we can see that this is 1% of the tokens of OPT2 that are held in the liquidity. So just to give you an example here we see 18 hours ago about 8800 tokens were burnt if we go into their liquidity and we see the pooled amount of opt2 tokens it's about 884,000. one percent of that is exactly kind of what we just saw there obviously that has changed but it's roughly that one percent and that's why it's going to become deflationary at a given point now of course it has to get there for it to become deflationary because right now it isn't deflationary because the liquidity isn't big enough to compensate for the amount of tokens that are printed on a daily basis now as i said it's been out for 16 days they started off with 21 million tokens and they are now at 24 million tokens and they've only burnt 358,000 tokens, which is exactly the proof is in the pudding there. That's why they are currently not deflationary. But in time, if the liquidity gets big enough, then it may very well become deflationary. Now, if we talk about how they are able to sustain this range and we look at it more in the terms of wrapped Matic as opposed to US dollars, we've already went through why not necessarily look at it in US dollars because Matic is actually affected by the market so it can go up and down. But in terms of the wrapped Matic, if we go and we switch the price in wrapped Matic, so we have the OPT2 token versus wrapped Matic on QuickSwap. If we go to a day range here, we can actually see that the, it has been maintaining its pair or its range i should say over the last few days so if we just take a look september 12th and we're now september 17th we have been in this range of about one dollar and 30 all the way to about a dollar 45 49 50 around that and what's happening is that they have bots in place like we've said that if ever there is a big major sell-off, we kind of see these wicks go all the way down. Well, those bots have money in them to be able to buy back this token. So that's one of the ways they're kind of maintaining this range. And on the flip side of things, it's also true. So we see these higher wicks here. And when it does happen, that same bot is actually going to take profits. So it is going to sell the OPT2 token formatic and then it's going to have funds in that bot in order for 
it to buy it back when there is a future dip. So that's kind of what they're doing right now. But now my question to that is what happens if people just start selling, 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 and the bots run out of liquidity to buy back the dips? What's going to happen? Is it going to continue going down? That would be my assumption, but who really knows because they are still trading other pairs. Potentially they could always have enough liquidity, but that is just some speculation I am going to leave you guys on. So of course, do your own research. I am just providing you with some of the research I did to give you guys an idea about this project. But now if we talk about some of these future plans, they do plan on being multi-chain, so they are probably gonna go on on Binance Smart Chain, that's been discussed, it's ongoing. They do potentially plan on bringing bonding to this as well as staking. Again, not too sure when that is going to happen or if ever it is going to happen. And they are also in talks with a centralized exchange to actually list their OPT2 token on a centralized exchange. And they did say it was in the top 10. They didn't mention if it was in the top 10 of the 24 hour volume. But if we just take a look at CoinMarketCap, we go 24 hour volume top 10. It would be any of these exchanges. If I were a betting man, it could be something along the lines of gate.io or BitMart or maybe BitTrue. We're just going to have to wait and see, but that is something they're also working on. And in the event that they are listed on a centralized exchange, their plan would be to integrate their bots and of course, maybe even use some leverage to make even more money for those bots in order to grow that liquidity and in order to try and sustain this protocol so that is optimus in a very quick nutshell i hope you guys kind of understand all of what i've said i know i went through a lot of information but go back into the video listen to specific parts you may have not grasped everything and the last thing i'm gonna just point out here is if we go on to this wallet address this is actually DeFi dude's wallet address so he is the owner of this project. He has about 615,000 OP2 tokens. He's put a lot of money in it. Of course, you can see that he's been taking some profits along the way, which you probably should if you're invested in this. And of course, you can still just keep an eye out on these different top wallets here on Polygon Scan. It was mentioned that most of these wallets were all bots with some money inside of it for trading purposes. And we can also see DeFi Dude's wallet right here, number 13th, with about 2.47% of the entire supply. But as we know, it is inflating right now, and that number is going to keep growing as long as the liquidity pool isn't big enough to make this protocol deflationary. So with all of that being said, I'm not currently invested in this one. I probably will throw maybe $100 or $200 just to see how it goes as a test amount and see where it takes us. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, do your own research, not promoting this, not saying not to invest. Money was definitely made. As we can see, it went from about $0 all the way to $1.15. I'm not saying there's not money to be made. I'm just saying there are a few risks. And that is why I always say only invest money you can invest. And at the end of the day, it is your choice. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.